My favorite foods are the foods that I was raised on. There's nothing better than making hand-me-down recipes and serving them at my home. I was raised by really amazing people, all of which are from Ohio, and there's something about the sort of salt of the earth nature of the Midwest that very much celebrates food as something that brings people together. Food always is in orbit around any given activity. But nothing about food is fancy. It's always delicious, but there's something about it that's always very warm and homey and nurturing. So for the first like 25 years of my life, that's all I knew about food. I had no concept what fancy food was. I just knew that I loved good food because it warms your soul. There was this turning point where I became obsessed with food. I loved cooking it, I loved baking it, so I moved to New York City and I went to culinary school and I learned refined techniques. But the thing I realized was that there's a big difference between really fine dining food and the really soulful food that I was raised on. And I realized that my voice in food was pulling from those foods and the things that I loved about food growing up and figuring out how to use refined techniques to bridge the two. The food that I crave more than anything is the food that I was raised on. And the food that I was raised on is food that my grandma made and food that my mom made and food that my aunts made. For me, corn bake is like a staple in my family. It's almost like a rite of passage. It's cornbread meets corn pudding. It's sort of like this spoon bread. It reminds me of being a kid on my grandma's farm and you literally would eat corn bake every single night. You bring it to a cookout, you bring it to a family reunion, it comes everywhere. In the spirit of wanting to bridge what I love about these like humble food origins and what I know about baking from, from being a professional in that space was wanting to sort of create my own recipe for corn bake from scratch.